When Optimus Prime loses his mind, will the Autobots be able to defeat their former leader and save him from himself? Hi, I'm the Comicler. I know it kind of sounds like Hitler, but it's actually a portmanteau of the words comic and chronicler. Welcome to the entire narrative show. A show where I recap to you, the audience, what happens when it's in the pages of a comic book. I'm essentially creating a motion comic for free. Our story begins in the skies six miles above Oregon. A Cybertronian vessel races across the sky. Its single passenger, Buster Witwicky, rests in the seat of Jetfire as he thinks about how he's going to help the Autobots out of this pickle. He recaps to us the situation. Optimus Prime's severed head was discovered by Buster in the base of the Decepticons. And when Buster was ordered by Optimus Prime to put two giant wires up to his head, he did. And he gained something called the Creation Matrix. Using his powers to destroy Jetfire and then rewire his brain to become an ally, Buster went on a mission to return the Creation Matrix back into Optimus's mind. When military aircraft fly behind Jetfire and order the pilot to follow them back to base, Jetfire takes action and blasts them out of the sky. This is all too much for Buster, and he falls unconscious. And Jetfire follows his pre-programmed path back towards the Black Rock Aerospace Assembly Plant, the current headquarters of the Decepticons. At the plant, Shockwave, the current leader of the Decepticons, speaks to Rumble about the theft of the Creation Matrix from Prime's mind. And Shockwave then puts Rumble on guard duty for the imprisoned humans who are busy constructing jets that will be made into a Decepticon army using the Creation Matrix to imbue them with life. Soundwave, the best Decepticon, is met by Shockwave at the chamber that holds Optimus Prime's head. Soundwave informs Shockwave that he has discovered an eavesdropping device within the walls. A rotary phone. Meanwhile, as a convoy of Autobots makes their way towards the Black Rock plant, Prowl receives a transmission from their eavesdropping device. And Shockwave declares that Optimus Prime will be dropped into the nearby swamp, never to be seen again, and where he will slowly dissolve until nothing is left. The Autobots quickly change course for the nearby swamp as Jetfire returns to base with the unconscious Buster Witwicky. Shockwave places Buster on a table and they prepare to remove the Creation Matrix from his mind. Meanwhile, the Autobots arrive at the swamp and in the sky, they spot a Decepticon drop the head of Optimus Prime into the murky waters. The Autobots quickly form a daisy chain to save Optimus before he sinks completely. Once they've saved his head, they bring out his body, and Optimus places his head back firmly on his shoulders. Prowl welcomes him back, but he is shot in the abdomen by Optimus. Before the others can realize what has happened, Optimus has gunned them down. One by one, Trailbreaker, Windcharger, and Cliffjumper are all thrown to the ground with holes in their mechanical bodies. Cliffjumper, mortally wounded, asks why Optimus has betrayed them. When Soundwave and his micro-cassette cohorts arrive, Back at the plant, Buster wakes up to discover that Shockwave has already begun the extraction, as he gloats to the severed head of Optimus Prime. Then Jetfire returns from his airdrop, and Soundwave orders him to dispose of the real Optimus Prime head. Zombie Jetfire reaches for the head when Buster uses his mind powers to take control of him. Jetfire punches Shockwave through the wall and into the hangar. Buster orders Jetfire to take Optimus back to his body. <sighs> I don't know how Comic Storian does this. My head hurts. My neck feels tense. Meanwhile, the Autobots are being slaughtered one by one, and Decepticus Prime spots Jetfire soaring across the sky. 
Then Optimus rips off his fake evil head and tosses it into the bog. Jetfire drops Optimus back into the hands of himself, and with that, Optimus Prime single-handedly takes down the Decepticon menace. Back at the plant, Rumble pleads with Shockwave to not destroy him, as Shockwave claims he knows where Optimus went. He transforms into a giant gun, blows a hole in the wall, and flies out. Shockwave arrives in the swamp and opens fire on Optimus, but is grabbed midair and grounded. Optimus and Soundwave grapple and fight until Prime tosses him into the bog. The Autobots then tell Optimus to blast Shockwave while he can, but Optimus declares he has something more important to do and runs down the road. The remaining Autobots look on as Shockwave slowly sinks and succumbs to the muddy waters. Optimus arrives back at the holding chamber and discovers Buster has been freed by the plant workers. Optimus thanks him for what he's done and then takes back the creation matrix through electromagnetic mind paths. Then he tells Buster that he has learned something today. That one human life knowingly endangered by their struggle is one too many. Then he prays that the Autobots will have the wisdom to learn that. They don't. They just continue to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this issue of Transformers. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. I'm Blake from Comicler, and I'll see you next time.